Hey everybody, and thank you so much for joining me today here on Blind Whiskey Reviews, the most honest reviews on YouTube. Today is our last day out of seven days straight of speedy sample reviews for our speedy sample review summer bonanza. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this week of reviews. I've had a great time doing it. Tomorrow we'll be doing our first speedy sample review live here on YouTube on my channel. So definitely join me for that one. Hopefully you guys can make it. Um, let's get to it. We've got our 24 samples in these two boxes. These are made up of whiskeys sent to me by distilleries to review, whiskeys sent to me by friends in the whiskey world, and whiskeys that I've already reviewed and put in a sample bottle a few months after they've been opened so we can see what the whiskeys taste tasting like with a little bit of airtime. So if this is a re-review, it'll be linked up here and in the description below. We've got 24 samples programmed into our random number generator, and we're gonna hit the generator three times. One, two, and three. Man, it's staying in the single digit numbers. I don't know what's going on with this generator. Let's see, we got eight. That's an easy one because these boxes are lined up in fours. Pour some whiskey. All right. Let's get on to the nose. A little punch of light fruits. Hmm, this one's not popping out of the glass so much. There's a little bit of a darker fruit towards the middle and maybe like an oaky quality towards the back. Really not popping out of the glass just yet though. Let's get a taste, cheers. Very juicy, very fruity. You got a lot of light fruits, a lot of like berry character, even a little bit touch of darker fruit. Kind of tastes like a fruit blend. Um, I saw somebody say like, you know, juicy fruit gum earlier this week in a review. And it kind of has that quality to it where it's like, maybe not juicy fruit gum, but like a berry flavored gum where it's got like this, you know, conglomeration of different berry flavors along going along with some other notes. Towards the back of the palate, it rounds out just a bit. Some of that sweetness dies off. It's pretty sweet up front. It, the sweetness dies off a little bit, and I wouldn't say that it tastes oaky much. I mean, there's like the slightest hint of an oaky quality, but for some reason the sweetness dies up, maybe a little bit of alcohol character kicks in and rounds it off a little bit, which I really think is a good thing because it doesn't end super sweet. You know, like a whiskey that ends super sweet is like Angel's Envy, and if you're not in the mood for super sweet, it gets kind of hard to drink a decent amount of it because it's just such a cloyingly sweet whiskey at times. So this doesn't end super sweet, which I do like. Tons of fruit though. Now, I'm starting to pick up a few other little characters, kind of towards the middle, they pop up. A little bit of caramel. Touch of citrus. Maybe that's part of what's kind of helping round it out, maybe like a bitter citrusy kind of quality. But really, the entire way through, it stays in the fruity realm. It doesn't really dive deep into these, you know, switching on the palate to other, you know, directions of flavor. It really stays fruity the whole way through. Which is nice, I mean, it's really refreshing. It's, it's almost, Juice, alcoholic juice like to an extent. Yeah, I really don't know what this is. It doesn't really taste like anything I've had before. I'm enjoying it though. I think it tastes really good. I like it's got enough complexity within the fruity realm that it's not boring. Um, there's a lot going on in there, even though it just stays fruity for the most part. It's a higher, a little bit higher alcohol. I'm feeling like we're maybe in the... It doesn't drink hot, but I've got more of a burn on my tongue. Like it feels on my tongue like it's in excess of 100 proof, but I would say it drinks like 95-ish. But I mean, my lips are a little numb, my tongue's a little hot, so it feels like it's, in a, it's over the 100 proof range. So I'm going to get one more sip. Yeah, 
Like, I don't know. Feels like it's maybe like, I said on the palate, not hot, but on the tongue, it feels like it's like 110, 120. I mean, it feels really hot on the tongue. We'll call it 115. I don't know. I'm just taking a stab. It, it really doesn't drink that way, though. Like I said, it drinks like 95, 100 maybe. Anyways, I think the flavors are great. I think this, this tastes fantastic. I'm going to give it a speedy sample review score of an, let's make this an 80, an 88. I think it's really good. So let's see what it is. This is Whistle Pig Straight Rye, 10 year old, 118 proof, bottled for Wade's Wines. So this was a sample provided to me by my buddy Micah. Micah, thank you very much for the whiskey. He's got a few other samples that I have in this pile too. That I'm really looking forward to getting to. I don't want to reveal what they are because you guys are really going to enjoy, enjoy them as well. This is 118.6 proof, 10 year old whiskey. The age really doesn't come across in here. It's really just super fruity. And it really doesn't even drink like a rye. I mean, it's so fruity. It doesn't really have any of those spicy notes you would expect. It's really a fantastic pour. Now, it's gonna be hard to judge this against other pours of this because it is a store pick. And I don't know how long ago he got this, but um, it's really fantastic whiskey. Very good drinking, very tasty, very flavorful, and doesn't come across as a rye really at all. So I'm really excited to get into the rest of this and taste it and see how it goes because it doesn't taste like any of the whistle pigs I've had before, so I'm really enjoying it. Not to say that I don't like whistle pig, but um, it's just very unique and tastes great. So if you've had any of the whistle pigs, specifically the 10 year, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. What are the flavor notes you're getting? Because this really doesn't taste like rye. And as always, you can send me or find me on Instagram and Twitter at blind underscore reviews. You can also find me on Instagram at Mission Bottle Kill. Tag me with Mission Bottle Kill and your empty bottle photos. That way I'll repost them up for so everybody else can take a good look at them. And you can send me an email at blind whiskey reviews. That's whiskey with an E at gmail.com. And until next time, cheers. And don't forget, tomorrow, first speedy sample review live. See you guys.